Hi everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shane. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today I'm going to take you along as I make my body butter cream. Now this is kind of a mix between a pure body butter, which is just oils and butters, and a moisturizer, which is um, oils blended or emulsified with water. So this is kind of a cross between the two of them. It's very high in butters and it has a lower water content than what a moisturizer would have, so it forms a really nice thick buttery consistency of a moisturizer and it gives you the sort of benefits of both sort of products for those that don't like that greasy oily feel of a body butter but want something a little bit more than a moisturizer for our um, winter months. Now the best thing about emulsified body butters is that they um, are a product that you can sell all year round. Unlike a body butter which generally is only for the cooler months, um, this one will not melt when it is going through shipping. Now the recipe for this body butter cream is available over on my Patreon page. It's the recipe that I am sharing for the month of May. Um, 2021 so it will be there on the $5 level for May, June and July and it will be on the $10 level from for those three months plus August, September and October before moving up into the vault. So if you do want to come along and grab that recipe just check which um, day that you are joining up so you know which level to join up to get the recipe. But for now what we're going to go and do is make this body butter cream. Let's go. First thing we're going to do is measure out my humectant and I am using some glycerin in this one. And because this is a body butter and I want it to have a little bit more thickness than say a moisturizer or a lotion, I'm going to thicken it up with a little bit of xanthan gum and this is also just going to add a little bit more stability. And to make sure that that goes through the water well, I'm going to make sure that that xanthan gum and glycerin is mixed together. And as this is an emulsified body butter, we're going to be adding in some water. And this is some distilled water. that a bit of a stir to make sure everything is up and well combined. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this over with a little bit of silicon wrap here just to make sure that that does stay nice and tight. I also have a band that I put around here and this is just to make sure we don't lose too much of that water from out of here and we get the correct amount of moisturizer or body butter. Going to pop the lid on here and then I'm going to put it into my double boiler system and bring it up to about 80 degrees Celsius. While that is coming up to temperature I'm going to start weighing out the oil phase. So the first ingredient I am going to measure out is my emulsifying wax so we can make sure that the oils and water combine together and this one here is a natural emulsifying wax so there's no synthetics in it and it is really nice and conditioning on the skin which is what we want from a body butter. To add to the viscosity of this particular um, emulsifying wax I am also adding in a little bit of steric acid because this is going to add a lot more thickness it's also going to help add to the stability of the body butter as well so the next thing I'm going to add into here is our butters because we are making a body butter I am using some cocoa butter And the next ingredient I am going to add in is this beautiful shea butter. This is an unrefined and organic shea butter direct from Ghana and it is absolutely beautiful. The cocoa butter I have used is also a unrefined, um, yes it was an organic one I purchased as well. Next is some fractionated coconut oil 
just to make this nice and light on the skin. Next up is a little bit of your Hopa oil, which is actually a wax, so it's not greasy on the skin. The idea behind this body butter, being emulsified, it's going to be less greasy than a regular body butter, but I'm trying to keep the actual effect of a, this emulsified one to be non-greasy as well. And lastly, to protect all the oils and butters that are going into this one, I'm going to be adding in my vitamin E. Now I'm going to go and get this one on the heat as well, melt it down, bring both my water and my oil phase up to 80 degrees and then we'll blend them together. So both my water and my oil phase have now come up to the correct temperatures. I have quickly weighed this pot to make sure that I haven't lost any water. I've lost about two grams throughout the boiling process, which I'm not too worried about there. If I'd lost any more, I would have put in some extra boiled distilled water that I had on the stove as well, just to bring it back up to the correct um, weight. Now that looks a bit funny because we have got the um, xanthan gum in there as well. What I'm going to do is pour my oils into my water and then I'm going to give it a good mix. Alright, so now that that has had a good mix, what I'm going to do is just leave the lid on there for a couple of minutes and then I'll come back and give it another mix. So this has been sitting here for about 10 minutes now. I'm going to give it another mix just to make sure it is well and truly emulsified. And it's looking beautiful. Alright, so now that that has had its final mix, I'm going to leave this sit here until it comes down to under 40 degrees. I will keep an eye on it, give it the odd mix if it needs it, just to make sure it stays in its emulsified state. And once it comes under that 40 degrees Celsius, then we'll add in some preservative and a couple of extra goodies. Okay, so the body butter has now been sitting and it has come down to a temperature that is below 40 degrees. So I know that I can add in all of my extra goodies. So I'm going to give that just a little bit of a mix there. It has just started raining as well. It's a very dull grey day today. First thing I'm going to add in is my preservative. I am using a water soluble preservative here because we've got all of that water in here. And for a little bit of added goodness and some extra um, humectant or moisturizing properties, I am also adding in some honey quad. Move the scale out of the way to make it easier for me to mix all this together. So that is all well and truly mixed in. You can see how really nice and thick that is. It's really nice and shiny as well. Now if you've ever seen any of my previous um, lotion and cream um, videos, you'll know that I don't like to pot any of this up until it is completely cooled down to room temperature, just so I don't get any condensation build up in my jars to keep it nice and safe from bacteria growth. So what I'm going to do is leave this one sit overnight and we'll be back in just a moment. I'm going to split it up for some different fragrances and then we'll get it potted up. Okay, so I am back to start potting this up and I do have a little bit of a confession to make. This body buttercream is one of the things which is going into the pamper packs for the month of May and I was in the processes of making them up and I thought, oh, I need to get my body buttercream potted up so we can pop it in and I started actually um, potting it up and labelling it not registering that I should have been recording it. So I have already used half of this mix to make up um, the body butter creams that I needed for my pamper packs. But I will make up the other two fragrances because I'm going to be offering this in three different fragrances. The first one, that which is going into the pamper packs for the month of May, I'll grab one of these from here, is going to be ginger flower. And this is actually ginger flower and hemp from off of Ilux. And it just has that real... <laughs> 
sort of typical lotion sort of smell to it and I thought it was perfect. I dropped the word hemp off of it because um, PayPal doesn't like the word, neither does um, things like Facebook. So I just figured it was easier to get rid of the name and just call it ginger flower. The next one I am going to make, I'm going to make some vanilla patchouli and sandalwood. And because these ones aren't going into the pamper pack, so don't need quite as many to make up. I'm going to start off with eight for now. So I've got my fragrance oil in there. And now I'm going to measure out how much of my buttercream or body buttercream that I'm going to pop in here. You can see it has come up so beautiful and thick. It looks like a really good thick cream, like a cooking cream almost at that butter consistency there okay so now I have the right amount of cream in there just going to give that a really good mix to make sure that that fragrance oil is evenly dispersed all right so that is looking really good there Let's grab my scale back and I'm just going to be using these little pots here to pop them in. Now you can spoon your mixture into your pots. I do find it a little bit messy to do it that way. So I like to grab myself one of my biodegradable piping bags here or you can use one of the reusable ones as well. Just going to pop my mix in. And then what I find easiest to do is just chop off the end of my piping bag and pipe it into my containers. We'll tear that one out. Bring it back in so you can see. And then bring it up to the weight that I want. And it's just nice and clean and looks good in the container then. Ready for photographs. of selling products is taking them out to markets. I like to seal my products so that they can't be opened up and tested, especially now that we're not able to put testers out on our shelves. So I just have these clear round stickers which I am popping onto the sides of my containers and it just makes it that little bit harder to twist the lids off and tells people that they shouldn't be opened. So all I'm doing is popping one on each side and then once I've got all of these on, we will pop our labels on. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is pop my labels on. I have printed up some really thin bands to go on these pots because I do like them to be around the outside of the pot. I use a specialized label printer, a TM350. 
yeah, 3,500 and it takes rolls of sticker paper or sticker sheets, also does ticketing and things like that, but it is specifically designed for printing up labels and I use Adobe Illustrator to then design them. So I've got all of my ingredients, what the product is and how to use it all around the edge of the jars there. So all I'm doing, I'm peeling the backing off these sticker sheets that I'm using or the paper I'm using is a waterproof one. So I know that it doesn't matter how much um, lotion or water and things like that people get on their hands, these labels will last the life of the product. So I've got a couple more of these ones labelled up. When I apply my labels, I'm only taking off just a small bit of the backing paper like so and I'm lining it up onto my container where I'm wanting it, making sure that the edges are straight with the top and the bottom of the jar. And I pull it down tight and then pull a little bit more of the backing paper off and pull that down tight and onto the jar. And then I end up with labels that don't have air pockets in them and are all nice and tight on the container like so. buttercreams all ready to go just to give you a quick sort of demonstration I do have just a little bit left over in my bowl here so I'm just gonna rub that in you can see it goes in quite quickly and you can also feel once it is on the skin that you do get that sort of heavier feel of a butter but it doesn't feel all greasy and oily it just feels like it is nicely protecting you against any of the harsher winter weather so here are the three body butter creams that I will be offering as I said if you do want to get your hands on this recipe or want to know any more about the sort of containers and things like that that I'm using come and join us over on the patreon page at the five dollar or above level there's more information down in the description box about um, what level this um, recipe will be at at different times of the year. So I hope you have enjoyed watching how I did this. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. And until the next video, I hope you have a good one and I will see you then. Bye. Bye.